Forgive my messy desk here. I've been working more than I've been cleaning. Speaking of cleaning, I'm going to be cleaning my mechanical keyboard. This is a Corsair. Uh, I forgot the model number of it. I've had it forever. It's the uh, one of their mechanical thing. It's like a cherry red. I have a K70 gaming keyboard. All right, good deal. As you can see, I don't know how well that'll pick up on camera, but at least in real life, this thing is incredibly dusty. Now, I've tried cleaning it with the keys on, but it's uh, I can't really get everywhere with it, and I just haven't really been able to thoroughly clean it like I should. And of course, this wrist pad also needs a really good cleaning as well. Uh, I try to keep this thing as clean as possible, but getting in these pores is a real pain. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to pull off all the keys. I need to get a key puller. I have one somewhere, but I don't know exactly where it is. So I'm probably going to 3D print one here soon. So just got to go to Thingiverse real quick. All right, found our keycap puller model on Thingiverse. I'll, of course, put this into the description. Now, when you we go into our slicer, which I have Simplify 3D loaded up here, as you can notice, the model isn't flat. Now, what you can do is try to do this. I'm going to try to do this one hand. You hit Control L while you're in the view. You click on the surface you want. Boom. It gets flattened to where it needs to be. You basically just click the surface that you want to be flat on the build plane. So it's uh, easy as that. Just control L and uh, simplify 3D as long as you're clicked in the uh, 3D view mode. And I'm going to be printing this off with PTG just in black because that's what I have loaded in my printer right now. I figure that PTG is going to be a little stronger than say like PLA and ABS in terms of like layer shear. So I don't have to worry about it coming apart while I'm using it. Now, of course, I will probably have to sand this too afterwards just to make sure it doesn't scratch any of the keycaps, although I'm not 100% concerned with that, but it just would be nice to not scratch them. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy loaded up in the printer and go ahead and print it out. Alright, so got our little keycap puller printed out here. Now, I went ahead and tested out a method of just using a toothbrush. And I got some uh, isopropyl alcohol. I just have it in spray bottle form. You can also just use a standard jug like this. Which, um, either way will work fine. But I prefer the spray bottle just because you can easily apply it to a surface. And so far it looks actually really good. Uh, there's still a little bit of dust left on it. Yeah, overall it seems to be pretty decently clean not got mo got a good bit of the crap out of the little indentation holes from just all the scrubbing from the toothbrush but yeah so far i'm impressed so i'm gonna put that to the side i'm gonna get a little bowl and of course i'll probably get some paper towels lay them down here as well but yeah let's uh i'm gonna go ahead and cut power to my keyboard now so now i still have to use my mouse and go ahead and show you all demonstrate real quick let me bump that iso up just a little bit there we go yeah it's a little I guess it's just because I'm not over, but yep, there you go. Pretty easy. Of course, one thing I will do, as everyone should do, open up our phone real quick. Get a picture real quick of everything. There we go. So got our got me a legible picture of my keyboard, so should be able to piece everything back together without any uh, mismatched keys. Now what I'll do is I'll pop off all the keys. I will put them in this. I'll probably, I might submerge them in water, soapy water. I might just scrub them with a bit of alcohol. I'm not 100% sure exactly what I'll do. Probably just do a bit of water and soak, to be honest. That'll, that'll be the quickest way to do those. But as for the keyboard body itself, I will just use isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush and maybe some cotton swabs from, for some finer little areas and what have you. But yeah, that should be about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cracking on that. All right, so got all the keycaps popped off. They weren't too dirty just because I cleaned them up fairly recently. But yeah, as you can see, tons of crap underneath. Yeah, that is just awful. So yep, yeah, just gonna go ahead. I already have it unplugged, so I'm just gonna start spraying it down. Some isopropyl alcohol 
and go into town with my uh, toothbrush just scrubbing all the little uh, innards. And the reason I'm using alcohol is because A, it's not really like a corrosive solution. It's not going to eat through any sort of plastics or what have you. And B, it evaporates pretty quickly. So even if I do spray it, say on this bit that has a bare PCB, it's not going to uh, really damage it so long as I give it time to just uh, evaporate off. And of course, it's not super duper conductive either. So that's always a plus when dealing with the stuff. So yeah, just going to break, scrub it up, break it up a bit. I may run it under some water. I'm not 100% on that. Probably won't just because of all of the mechanical switches I have on here. Not the greatest idea, but yeah, definitely gonna go with a toothbrush and just start scrubbing the crap out of everything and probably getting into the little details with a, uh, bit of a, cot a cotton swab there too. And whoa, bam, we are back. Everything is uh, so much cleaner. Still a little bit of dust. I might just like blow that off with a air canister or what have you, or maybe my little camera bulb do the job. But yeah, essentially what I did was I just uh, sprayed it down with the isopropyl and then used a brush just to like, scrub in circular motions around everything. Then use the cotton swabs to follow up and just get rid of some of like, the hairs and the finer bits of dust like kind of crammed and stuck in between these key switches here. So got everything nice and cleaned up for the most part. Looks a ton better, so much better. Uh, there's still a little bit left, so I'll probably detail over that just a bit as it dries up here. And I'm able to, I'll probably just get a few more cotton swabs in there. But next, I'm going to go ahead and get these keycaps sorted out. So just got to uh, take them out, brush them down a little bit with, probably clean up my toothbrush a little bit since it's getting pretty dusty. And just stick them back on them, reference my little picture. All right, so I got all the keycaps properly washed off, dried up and put back on man that was probably the longest time consuming part of doing this here is getting all each individual key clean dried and laid out because man it's a lot of keys but man does it look good looks pretty close to brand new minus a few scratches just from years of use but yeah this thing looks great now now i'm pretty sure i can get this even more clean if i were to like use some dish soap but um, for now, it looks pretty decent. I think I'll I'll settle for that for now. Now I'm gonna put the uh, this key cap pooler in the description. This is for cherry keys, but there are tons of different key cap poolers on Thingiverse, so I will link this one in the description. Of course, just if you search key cap pooler, you should be able to find all the other uh, different varieties of uh, key cap poolers available for different kinds of keys. Now another thing I want to do for this particular keyboard is I would like to print out some sort of basically a lockout to prevent from somebody from depressing the numlock key. Now some keyboards, when you pull off the numlock key, you have, it's like, it's really hard to press it, but this one's still pretty easy just because of the, how the cherry switches work. But I want to create some sort of lockout that goes underneath the key and prevents it from being toggled. Yeah, I'm probably going to uh, design that on another episode of Power Playground. Stay tuned for that in the near future. But that is going to be about it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Consider subscribing and have a great day.